Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain Skull Servant. As you can see in front of you, there is some Yu-Gi-Oh! lore about Skull Servant. We can see that before we talk about making a great Skull Servant deck, the lore is that where art thou is Skull Servant as when he was alive. Currently within Yu-Gi-Oh! Konami has not made the monster that is Skull Servant, but we know he was looking for his dog, outstanding dog Moran, as we can see him there in Where Art Thou putting some posters there. And we can see over time he he somehow died and became the Skull Servant, and the outstanding dog Moran died and became an immortal being known as Skull Dog Moran. Right? Anyways, we can see the support card for Skull Servants is one for one, but that's just a quick little tidbit there for all you Skull Servant fans. And here is the lore behind Skull Servant, that he was just a kind young boy looking for his lost dog, which was an outstanding dog, Moron, and unfortunately it it uh, he died and the dog died as well out of abandonment. And as we can see there, he wandered off 1,000 years ago. He's still waiting for his masters to come for him. We can see there that uh, with the uh, normal monster of Skulldog Moron, we can see that he's been waiting there for quite a long time, standing at that same spot. And he's still waiting for uh, the Skull Servant, when he was alive, to find him. But do not worry, in other such artworks with Skull Servant... And then we do see him reuniting with uh, Outstanding Dog Moron, but, he d but it is Skull Dog Moron at this point in time. Let's move on. So, for your Skull Servant deck, it's important to get some cards that help it. One of those cards is Magical Merchant. Magical Merchant is quite a good card to play for the Skull Servant, as it's a deck that loves to mill you cards and get loads of skull servants into the into the graveyard so the magical merchant great card another great card as well is sylvan princess sprite it's a rank one that mills it doesn't matter whether you excavate a spell or trap or not just the milling effect is just pretty good so another great card to get um that's it let's move on to the next slot and we see the flourishing floric again fantastic card Great card. It doesn't matter what its effect is. It allows you to excavate, mill the rest of the cards, and whatever cards you have milled at this point in time, whether it be a spell monster trap, you get to keep one. As we can see, this effect, fantastic. We have the monster gate again. Really, really good. Getting you to get that skull servant into your hand and just do a load of nonsense. Fantastic card. Tailor made for... Um... Skull Servants. And if we go to the next slide, and I th believe that is it. That is the overall conclusion of Skull Servants. Skull Servants in Yu-Gi-Oh! are quite interesting as they have the longest uh, lore and oldest lore in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. A lot of their uh, there's a lot of cards related to Skull Servant that you didn't even know. Some of these are Graceful Revival which is related to Skull Servant. Pride of the Week. There's a lot of uh, cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! which are for low levels with bones in them, especially related to Kill of the Salt Skull Servants, right? Which, and King of the Skull Servants is Skull Servant, obviously, when he's powered up, and he's just gone and suffered quite a bit, as he's had the loss of his dog at this point, and... It is, it is considered an alternate timeline where Skull Servant didn't really manage to get what he wanted. He didn't get to find the outstanding dog Moron and things didn't work out. The artwork with King of the Skull Servants on various cards showcase a broken Skull Servant. However, the other, trap, uh, the other cards we see in Yu-Gi-Oh! that show Skull Servant with Skull Dog Moron showcase a different future, a future where he finds his dog and where they enjoy themselves. So for any of you Skull Servant fans, 
look out for more Skull Servant cards or cards that just have the artwork of Skull Servant and uh, King of the Skull Servants. As you can see, alternate timelines and alternate things that happen to Skull Servant. That's all I've got to say in this video. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.